Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I am going to be sharing my newest baby, my fifth book, The Right Guy That Is Finally Here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this one. If y'all have been following my journey, um, you've kind of seen me um, blossom as a writer. You've kind of seen everything that's happening with my writer's retreat. If you haven't heard about it, check it out at thewritersretreat.org. The link will be in the bio. But yeah, I just have a heart for writers, for um, pouring into them, for mentoring them, and for just seeing them share the message that God has placed on their hearts. So I wrote this book especially for you if you are a writer, if you want to, um, if you have a message that God has placed on your heart or you have a story to share, I want you to be bold about it. I don't want you to be held back by fears or insecurities or any of that stuff. Writer's block, <laughs> I talk about that in this book. I have a whole chapter on writer's block. I have a chapter on anxiety. And I kind of just want to give you guys a preview since you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not, make sure to click the subscribe button. But um, I kind of just wanted to go through my book a little bit and give you guys a preview. Um, I love the cover. I'm super excited. This is my first time doing a hardcover book, um, but I wanted it to last and be a resource that authors can use for years to come. So that's why I decided to go with something a little bit more sturdy. Um, but if we go through some of the chapters, I'm gonna read to you guys some of the chapters we have here and kind of just talk about it. I'm gonna also show you guys some of the diagrams. I have a very interactive activities within the book. So I guess you can kind of call it a workbook too, but I have diagrams, I have um, images, I have question and answer things so it's gonna be so fun to get it um, but I have I have a chapter about writing about your past so a lot of you guys you find your you find it hard to sit down and write because you have a sensitive or a traumatic event that happened in your past and you're not really sure how to approach that and when you do sit down to write it's like you're faced with all those emotions all over again and you're like reliving that moment so in this book i really i literally break down the steps of navigating that journey and how to write about your past and how to overcome those things and and translate that message beautifully on the page so definitely if you don't get this book for anything else if you if that is your struggle and you're writing like a memoir then that chapter would be great for you um i have another chapter about passive income and having writing as a career people always ask me how can you make money as a writer how can you make this your full-time career this is my testimony i i'm just a writer an author an entrepreneur i'm a stay-at-home entrepreneur mommy whatever you want to call it and the reason the way i've done that is because i have created over time multiple streams of income to be able to support my family and I. So I literally list so many different options. Maybe not all the options would work for you, but you'll find that some of them probably can, that you can implement some of them even today in your life. Some of them may take time to build, you know, take time to build, but these are streams of income, passive income that you can literally be making money in your sleep so that you can have more time to do the things you love, more time to write, more time to spend with your family and all of that stuff. So I'm, I love that chapter. Um, let's see what else. I have a chapter about building your brand as a writer. Ooh, I have a chapter about publishing versus self-publishing. A lot of people always ask me, especially in my coaching sessions. Um, by the way, I'm a writing coach, so if you need coaching, go to my website at thewritersretreat.org. Sign up. I'll have you set. But... Um, People ask me, what route should I go? Should I go the publishing route? Should I go the self-publishing route? So literally, in this chapter, I break everything down. And I'm going to go to it and show you guys. Let's see. I have questions, a series of questions that I ask you. And I ask you to circle yes, circle no. To kind of um, get an idea of the type of person that you are, the stage in life that you are in, the type of writer that you are, what are your aspirations, what are your goals, what are your plans, and then based off of these questions or based off of your answers, I have a chart, traditional publishing versus self-publishing, and based off of the answers that you give, you will be putting tallies 
on either the traditional publishing side or on the self-publishing side and you will be able to know which um, route I recommend for you based off of your answers. So I really love how interactive that is. I have a chapter called The World of Ebooks, all about ebooks, because some people feel like they're not ready exactly to publish um, an actual print book yet, but I talk about the pros and cons of ebooks versus printed books and how you can use them to build your business. Um, let's see, I have the publishing process. So in that chapter, I literally outline the publishing process from the very start to the end. And that's whether you're self-publishing or whether you're going with a traditional publishing company. People always ask me, how do I know what price I should charge for my book, especially if they're a first time writer and they're not familiar with the industry, they're not really sure what to charge. So at the end of the chapter, I basically give you the answer of around um, the range or an idea of what you should charge for your book. So that's an also a very helpful tool that you can find in here. Um, and then we have a list of resources. So our last chapter in the book, and by the way, we have so many chapters. The table of contents is like two pages long, but I just went over the chapters that I feel really stand out for the book. Um, but we have a list of resources. So this whole chapter is just dedicated to resources. And with these resources, we have social media marketing resources. We have book publishing resources. We have software resources, building your mailing list. So many links and websites and things that you can use, how to get free stock photos for your social media account, all that stuff that any writer would find helpful. So. If you haven't already, you need to get your hands on a copy of one of these books, The Right Guy. I'm telling you, it is going to bless your life. Literally, this is not just a book of techniques and tips, even though it has a lot of that. But this book spiritually delves into the life of a writer, um, even in terms of relating your gift of writing to ministry, in terms of dealing with personal and internal struggles and growing to be the person that God has called you to be. Be, growing to write for the purpose of actually doing something bigger than just producing content or producing work, but actually making an impact, actually changing the world. So if this is something I'm telling you that you find any, any inch of interest in, I promise you and assure you that this will bless your life. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming on my channel and taking time to um, just view this video. Share this book with others if you feel like it will be a blessing. God bless you. Until next time, bye.